hello friends and welcome to my channel uh, today i'm going to tell you what to do if you encounter a child with uh, swallowing a foreign body any foreign object this video is useful for both for the primary care physicians and also for the parents so who uh, tend to see their children sometimes swallow uh, certain foreign objects so let us see what you have to do first thing uh, it has the important thing is one should know which type of foreign body child has swallowed so dangerous ones are uh, a button battery a very f sharp object or very large object or any foreign body for that matter which after which after swallowing child is complaining some symptoms so in these four situation we need to be really careful so would require definitely removal or some kind of interventions and rest of the things you need not worry and before that before going to rest of the things let us discuss these four things so button battery definitely it requires removal because it is a corrosive and it can it, it can injure the intestinal tract and it can lead to catastrophic complications and even fatal outcomes so button battery definitely requires removal if it is in the food pipe so definitely it is a very urgent indication for removal if it is slightly lower down we can wait and see how the things are progressing so but definitely but button battery requires removal second thing is uh, the uh, what is that the sharp object so sharp object would pierce the intestine and it can cause problems so it is ideal that one if it is removed but uh, there are instances that sharp objects which has passed beyond the stomach pouch into the small intestine would have i think uh, it has come out but still a sharp object would require removal and a large foreign body very large foreign body child um, is consumed you would be surprised to see a, a, a object which child has consumed but these things we do encounter routinely so large object is unlikely to pass through the intestinal tract so you should be uh, careful about these things and it should it would require removal and fourth indication is if the child is complaining of any symptoms so child has swallowed something and child is then is not able to swallow the saliva complaints pain in the throat pain in the chest uh, so this situation we have to assess and require uh, most probably the endoscopic removal so these are the four indications so one is button battery second thing is a sharp object and a very large object for that matter and uh, a symptomatic child and uh, another important thing but we don't come across these things very routinely is magnets and in pairs if child has swallowed two magnets so this also requires endoscopic removal because two magnets if it gets dislodged in two locations and get adherent to each other so it is unlikely that it will move then it can damage the intestine so one should be cautious and it requires removal immediately so my urge to the parents is you should not panic when a child is swallowed something so it is uh, it is obvious and the tendency of a child, a child to put everything whatever they uh, uh, hold into their mouth and they tend to swallow it so you should not worry about that so there are appropriate protocols and also appropriate indications when we have to remove it through endoscopy and when we can leave it uh, to pass uh, through the natural orifices naturally so you don't worry about that so don't panic uh, don't try to force something so we do see uh, parents tend to give banana or some other food item so that it will it will move down or try to induce vomiting so these things can uh, cause more damage and also would delay the procedure of endoscopy if the child is just fed along with the foreign body so don't try to do that so whenever you encounter any of this situation please visit your nearest hospital or try to meet a pediatric gastroenterologist or an emergency pediatric physician so that they would guide you appropriately second thing certain things you need not worry at all a small plastic object a small round ball uh, so we tend to see a small bearing metal bearing so that if the child has swallowed that would definitely come out even for that matter even coin which is asymptomatic which has gone down into the stomach which is not stuck in the food pipe so all these things would come out so you should not worry about uh, these things so please keep in my in your mind the four or five things which i have listed which requires removal rest of the things you need not worry about at all so i hope this video is useful for you and you will uh, make a, a informed decision while uh, while you see a child who has swallowed something thank you very much thanks for watching this video bye bye